channel rebrand. So I'm rebranding my channel. Um, the USMC Saxogi thing was just kind of vague, and I was just trying to like do like an incognito thing, and it ended up being something like I, I made some decent videos, I think, but it ended up being something I really didn't like. So I'm changing the name to my name, Clay Beerman. Um, I still want to talk about EVs, zero motorcycles, Tesla, you know, but I really want to focus on my life and what's going on with me and my world. This world, you know, includes my family, having my baby girl, our new house that we just bought, improving that house, what we're doing financially, how I'm doing, what's going on, and ultimately the world from my perspective. I just kind of want to cut the bullshit of trying to be something I'm not. Right now, I'm just an active duty Marine who knows how to save money and owns a Prius, Volt, and Zero SR. That's really it. Oh, and a husband and father of one, which I'm very proud of, with one on the way. I have a son. And I'm still an active duty Marine, so I can't really discuss politics or essentially my boss, the president. But I want to talk about that stuff soon. I honestly have been kind of over talking about EVs. Uh, in my mind, driving an EV is just obvious. Like, it has been so normalized in my life to drive two EVs, my Volt and my Zero SR, that I really can't imagine going back to a gas vehicle. I mean, I haven't put gas in my Volt since March, and I only put in about 10 bucks at that time when I did. That same gas is still in my tank, and it's almost July. So I'm just kind of over it. Um, th there's so many other channels out there who talk about EVs, and for me to kind of just put my two cents, I really only want to talk about my, my EVs, because that's what I know. So EVs are just the norm to me. It's like... Someone else discussing how awesome gas cars are. You know, you can only say so many things before you run out of ideas. Um, as far as Tesla goes, they're obviously really taking off right now. Uh, the company's not going anywhere. Uh, their, their cars, however, are still too expensive for mainstream people, and gas is too cheap right now for the average person to really need to consider an alternative that involves changing their lifestyle. Because with an EV, you really do have to change your lifestyle a little bit. So let me tell you what's been going on in my life. I bought a house in the country in northeastern Indiana on about nine acres of land, and it's an amazing place. Um, the house isn't very big, but it was built in 2011, so it's newer. It has a full-size finished basement and geothermal heating and cooling. I will definitely be doing videos about that house. I, however, cur currently live in Jacksonville, North Carolina, because it is right next to Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, which is where I've been working for the last two and a half years. Because I'm getting out of the Marine Corps in October, and our new house is where most of our family is, me and my wife's family, I decided to move my family and most of our stuff up there. I did that beginning of June, and then I drove back down to Jacksonville, and I'm now living by myself. It sucks, but there, really, but there was really nothing here for my wife and son except me. What, what do I mean by that? Well, my wife's a stay-at-home mom right now, and you know we tried to make friends with people here, and... We, did, we do have a couple friends, but like people just kind of suck, and they don't hold up to what they say, and it's just hard to even get anybody to make a simple commitment like for her to like say, hey, we're going to go walking at this time or something or whatnot. But, so there's nothing here, and all my wife's uh, job opportunities are up in Indiana, and her family's up there, and it's just like, and there's going to be hurricanes coming through here in a few months. And I just like, I want to get you guys out of here. There's no reason for you to stick around here. So so I've been batching it up here for the last two weeks. And it's honestly felt like about two months. Uh, been drinking too much and really have been in a rut. But you don't want to hear about that. So Marines on Camp Lejeune are restricted to about an 85 mile radius because of the coronavirus. So I can't really do some of the things I'd like to do, like go home to Indiana over the 4th of July weekend that's coming up. I mean, we can request permission to go out to 450 miles, but that doesn't get me home. And I don't want my seven month pregnant wife with a two year old driving to meet me somewhere that we have to pay for a hotel and gas and it's like, no. We're not doing that. And then rip the Band-Aid off again when I have to leave her and come back here. And it's just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. We're good. She understands. We talked about it. So right now I'm essentially just working and waiting to start my life in Indiana come October. We're still living smarter, simpler, and with more money. It's just life isn't always easy. This has been Clay Beerman.